Marriage is an incredible force in our life. Everyone agrees with that. And the question is, is it a force for good that helps me? Or does it seem to be a force against me that is just stifling me? What kind of marriage do you have? I want to use some magnets to describe the kind of marriages there are. So what we want in marriage is this powerful connection between us and our spouse. But here's what happens in every marriage. We have this tension. If you turn one magnet the wrong way, you get this tension. And they seem like there's nothing you can do to connect to them. There's this strong force that's causing them to not connect. This is what some marriages are like. These two people really want to be connected. They want to have this powerful connection, but it feels like all they're doing is in this, is in this awkward, awkward dance where I sure want to be with you, but I sure hate being with you. I sure want this to work, but I don't see how this can work. And we can just stay in this stance for a long time. Some people who are really faithful, stay in this for a long, long time. It's no fun, but they're faithful. And they say, well, divorce is wrong, so let's just keep this awkward thing happening, whatever it is. This marriage is not designed to be in a constant state of tension. There's a second kind of marriage, and that is where one person is kind of the bully over the other person. So this tension is here, and because one person is the bully, they're chasing the other person who's trying to get away from this other person. They may not be trying to get divorced, but they're like, you are so uncomfortable. You're making me so uncomfortable, and they're trying to get away. The other person is trying to just get connected, and they don't realize that the way they're acting is chasing the other person away. This isn't the design of marriage either. The third kind of marriage, and that is a very common thing, and that is that when people are growing together, this tension happens, and they say, oh, I don't like this feeling. I, I don't like feeling tension with you. I, I hate this. What's the common instinct? Is to just come back over here. It's like, oh, now there's no tension. Yeah, but there's no connection. We want connection. And although this seems like, okay, there's no fighting, it seems, but there's definitely no connection. And over the course of time, the reason we marry is for connection. We don't marry for the absence of tension. We marry for the presence of a life-giving, powerful relationship that moves us, that stirs us, that causes us to feel life's greatest Probably the life, life's greatest uh, human interaction, which is the giving and receiving of great love. We're made for this. We, we aren't made to be people that, that only experience this vicariously through a movie on, the, on television. We can have it in our real life. We absolutely can. So here's what marriage looks like. Some people think that when they get married, they start here. Like we get married, our, our relationship is perfect, we're perfectly connected. It's really not with it what it is. You see, when we get married, we're actually pretty far apart. What is this distance? Although we love each other, we haven't learned how to love each other. When we get married, there's really a lot of distance between us because we don't know each other very well. How can we? We also don't know the future together because the future hasn't come yet. We don't know what it's going to be like to have kids together. We don't know what it's like to move together. We don't know what life's going to be like after college together. So this distance is caused by the great unknown. This distance is caused by things like selfishness that we all bring into every relationship, our insecurities, our fears, our bad attitudes, our problems. But this tension then happens as we grow in our relationship and get closer. This tension happens. This tension is not bad. This tension, like a smoke alarm, is simply alerting us to something that needs to change. 
And when something changes, we get connection. I don't know about you, but when you feel a great intimacy with some other human being, even in friendship, it is worth a, a fight or a tension to get this feeling. I don't know about you, but I want to live my life with great love. I don't want to live so, so distant from everyone that, well, I'm never fighting. I'm just always alone. Every relationship is going to cause a tension and all it's doing is calling us to change. Now, who needs to change? Which magnet needs to change? How about either one? Chances are that every problem between two people, usually both people need to change. Oftentimes, all that is required is that one person changes. And when one person changes, it causes a different response on the other person. But how often do we sit here in the tension and because we're angry, we say, you need to change and you need to change. And if no one changes, we stay in the tension. This problem that arises in marriage is totally normal. It's supposed to happen. It's just causing, it's just calling us to make a change. And the change that we make, the good news is this, the change that we make is not just best for our marriage. It's best for our whole life. Probably the change we make to get this connection in our marriage is going to help us connect with things in the workplace. It's going to help us connect with things in our community. It's going to help us connect with our kids better. Because the change that needs to happen in me to have a powerful relationship with my spouse is also a change that needs to happen to me for the rest of my life.